Hey, how you doing? It's James Dalkarian, Doctor of Physical Therapy and owner of Pioneer PT. And I wanted to thank you all for my time at the Earth Tracks in Timonium with their last rendezvous. It was great to meet everybody. And after talking with everybody, learning more about your injuries, I wanted to put together a little self-care video for you. Um, hopefully this will help to make sure that you're, you're maintaining your body and you continue to climb as well as you'd like. Uh, first, I want to address the upper extremities. We'll talk about the arms today, kind of from the wrist to the shoulder. So when you're climbing, muscles that tend to get tight are your flexors. So your wrist flexors from holding on, wrist extensors as well as far as the grip. More so the flexors, um, these should be addressed with some stretching. Your lats get tight as well from pulling and climbing. So let's go over how to stretch from really the wrist up to the shoulder. First, I want you guys to start with a nice easy wrist flexor stretch. For stretching, you wanna to try to hold for a minute to 90 seconds at a very minimum. The longer you hold, the better. But in general, start here. This stretches the muscles you use primarily to grip and hold. Then you can come straight to the opposite side. So this is almost um, similar to a yoga flow but for your upper extremities. So we're pulling here. That addresses more of a tennis elbow situation, which gets irritated from gripping, pulling. From there, I want you to flip the opposite way. Again, we're going right into the flexors. This is gonna to start to get biceps a little bit as well as we come back into extension. Keep that shoulder down and relaxed. I don't wanna see the shoulder up in your ears. All right, so you're keeping your shoulder relaxed, reach straight back. You can do about 10 repetitions straight back into extension, working on shoulder extension. All right, try to keep your body nice and upright, reaching back. From here, we can go into median nerve glides, where you're extending your elbow, extending your wrist. Median nerve glides are important. It helps to reduce any nerve entrapment through the arms. So you can start just with the arm and the wrist, then add in a side bend to your head. Same thing, maintain that side bend, extend the arm, extend the wrist. If you feel some tension that runs down through this portion of your arm and into your hands, you know there is some median nerve tension. So work on that as long as it doesn't make your, your tingling worse. From there, we can go in just the opposite. This time we're going back with elbow extension and the hand facing the opposite way. This one glides your radial nerve. Radial nerve glides are important as well because radial nerve entrapment can mimic tennis elbow. So we want to keep the nerves loose that supply those muscles so you're feeling good. Lastly, we can go into the shoulder. I'll have you start up here like this, going into a tricep stretch. You're stretching triceps here and then side bend away that way we start to work through your side you feel down through your lats and again try to hold a good minute to 90 seconds at a minimum I would always do these on both sides after you finish that one I'd like to finish up with a nice pec stretch. So you can use a wall. Keep your arm on that wall and step in. Step in with your closest foot. Hold again a minute to 90 seconds. From here, after that, do 10 external rotations, trying to reach back as far as you can, comfortably. Try that out. This should be some nice self-care for your upper extremities. Uh, and let me know what you all think. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to, to reach out. Take care. Bye-bye.